Hey guys, what's up? So today I've got a new tutorial for you, and basically this will teach you how to transfer whatever is on your iPod into your iTunes library on a computer. So maybe your computer crashed and uh, you lost everything, and maybe you didn't buy your songs with iTunes, you got them off maybe Amazon MP3, and you don't have a backup feature like, because now if you buy songs on the iTunes stores, uh, you can transfer them transfer your purchases but uh, you can only do that a certain amount of time maybe you've run out of those amount of times maybe you just don't want to use them up as like insurance in case they fix this method um or yeah maybe you just downloaded files that weren't on iTunes store and you lost them so anyway uh this works for any iPod of any generation except the iPod touch and the iPhone Okay, so if you have an iPod Touch or an iPhone, you cannot do this. But anything else, the Shuffle, the Classic, the Video, the they have like 20 names for it. You know what I mean. Um, that'll work. But just no iPhones or iTouches. I can't stress this point enough because I hate it when people, like, it just goes in through one ear, comes out the other, and then they leave me mean comments. Uh, I've done this tutorial before on another channel, so I know when I'm trying to go over the common issues and just people having the inability to listen to me talk and follow my simple instructions. Okay, so what we want to do is you want to right-click on your desktop, select New Folder, right-click, New Folder, and you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it iTunes Backup. All right, so now we have our iTunes Backup made on our desktop, and just before we get started, I want to show you that I'm not uh, lying to you. I have nothing on my uh, iTunes and see how it says iTunes has found purchased items whatever uh, that's because my iPod is plugged in right now which I will get to later just disregard that message music no music no movies no TV shows no podcasts alright let me close out of that quit sorry it's being a little slow here alright there we go anyway so I've just proved to you there's nothing in my iTunes so don't be calling me a liar because once again you have the inability to follow simple instructions okay so now we want to go to our computer okay now you want to make sure that your iPod is plugged in with a USB cord okay and that's just an automatic pop-up in Vista just forget that ever happened okay and um, then occasionally what will happen is when you open it uh, when you automatically load it like that it'll just hide or sometimes it'll just hide before you click anything see it just disappeared from my computer but it's still plugged in this is a common issue so what you have to do is just simply unplug it and plug it back in okay so if your iPod is not showing up in your computer or when you double click it you can't get into the files then just unplug it and plug it back in okay and there it goes and now some automatic pop-ups will appear and now this is important after you disregard all the other pop-ups iTunes will open up and you don't want to do anything don't click don't transfer don't click transfer what you want to do is if you're on XP hit control alt delete okay that's for XP and then just stop there and now if you're on Vista or Windows 7 you want to hit control alt delete and then click start the task manager or the task list whatever it says it should be the bottom bottom option if it's not correct me because I'm running Vista not 7 at the moment but I know it's very similar so control alt delete start the task manager for Vista and 7 if you're using XP just control alt delete alright so control alt delete start the task manager and now you want to you're in your applications tab by default you want to go to processes and find iTunes.x this one right here right click and process so now iTunes can't automatically hide your iPod like it, it's programmed to do on some of the updates like some of your versions of iPod. So anyway, um, I just want to apologize for going so slow, but I, I want to assume that some of the kids watching this are about eight years old, so or have virtually no computer knowledge because I want to help as many people as I can. Just bear with me. Okay, so once you've done that, once again, we've made a new folder on our desktop. Uh, we've unplugged and plugged in our iPod, and we've used the task manager to end the process of iTunes so it can't hide it automatically. Now you can access your iPod, and you'll see calendars, contacts, notes, recordings, whatever. But uh, sadly, this doesn't do anything to get into your music, so you want to click Organize, Folder and Search Options, View, and then you want to click Show Hidden Files and Folders. So we're in the View tab, Show Hidden Files and Folders. Click OK. And now, as you can see, iPod control will pop up. And see how this is shaded right here where my mouse is over? That means that it is a hidden file. So double-click that, and then you want to go into music. And even though it says music, 
see all these little folders these contain everything that your iPod has everything games podcasts whatever so what you want to do is you want to drag a box start at the top drag a little box all the way to the bottom and it says 50 items selected and even though it says 49 is the bottom one you're forgetting there's an F00 so it should say you have as many selected as this number plus one okay uh, now you just want to left click on any of the folders and then drag while holding down the left click onto iTunes backup and now just let it transfer everything as you can see I have 56.4 gigabytes of stuff on my iPod and it estimates about 58 minutes uh, it can take quite a while depending on how fast your computer is um, and just how much stuff is on your iPod so I'll get back to you once all those folders have transferred copied into this iTunes backup folder